Susan Tehrani, our correspondent, is also reporting from New York. And she, in fact, went onto the streets ahead of the United Nations General Assembly with more than 100 head of states. Reaching New York, the city has been put under some very strict security restrictions. Take a look at this ground report. We on USA Direct from Washington, D.C. with Susan Tehrani. UNGA 76 has officially kicked off its high-level week, meeting in person for the first time since the pandemic began. And drivers and pedestrians in Manhattan, notably in streets and roads near the UN headquarters, are really feeling the full effect of roads and street closures. They really started feeling these effects starting September 19th, and these closures will continue until September 30th. Now, with fewer streets to get around, city transportation officials have called and designated the days of this week as gridlock alert days, with more than uh, 100 heads of states expected to take part at the GA event. There were concerns that this event will turn into a super spreader event. Now, New York City requires a proof of vaccination for indoor gatherings and had asked the United Nations to do the same. However, immediately after, there was backlash and protest by the Russians and Brazilians. Hence, the United Nations decided to politely respond to city officials saying that it trusts the vaccination honor system. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for Weon. World is one. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.